a fashionable gadget, a toy for older children, or a practical vehicle. This car can be perceived in different ways, but the fact remains that the Prius is interesting to a very wide audience. However, for many, the new hatchback is prohibitively expensive. Believe me, the car of the previous, third generation is hardly worse. Let's face it, with the loudly declared fantastic efficiency of the Prius, according to passport data, the third generation model consumes 3.9 liters, 100 kilometers in the combined cycle, the real fuel consumption is much higher. We operated a Japanese hybrid in Kiev for quite a long time, where for the same hundred run the car needed from 5.5 to 6 liters of gasoline. On the highway, where the gasoline engine not only plows alone almost all the time, but also carries a 45 kilogram high voltage battery on its shoulders, the flow meter showed 7 to 7.5 liters, 100 kilometers. 20 years ago, for golf cars with naturally aspirated engines and automatic transmissions, these were almost unattainable numbers, but now, in the era of global engine downsizing and the introduction of start-stop systems, cars with traditional power plants have learned to drive no less economically. I did not just mention the 20-year period of the presence of the Prius on the market. Over the years, the technical concept of the machine has not changed at all. This is a body with a low-coefficient of aerodynamic drag and a power unit packed into it, consisting of a high-voltage battery, a gasoline engine, a starter generator and an electric motor. The game of this quartet is conducted by an inverter and a planetary gearbox, which allows the car to move forward or backward, as well as maintain the engine speed in optimal modes. At the same time, being faithful to the general idea, each new generation of Prius entered the market with something new. Perhaps the main technical difference between the third generation car, XW30, and its predecessor was the 2ZR FXE gasoline engine. The tandem of this 1.8 liter, it was 1.5 liters, gasoline 4 with an electric motor develops 136 horsepower. Not enough, you say? This, by the way, is 14 horses more than the current fourth Prius. Yes, and not in them, in fact, seems, but in an impressive torque, providing peppy starts and lively dynamics in the city. However, those who are looking for a hybrid Toyota in the secondary are no less important than the developed speed, its reliability. The question is not idle. On many forums you can find replicas that the service life of the Prius is, is significantly superior to conventional cars. Yes and no. You can't argue with the fact that the parts of the hybrid brake system, pads and discs, are subject to minimal wear, because the starter generator in the recuperation mode performs a significant job of slowing down the car. The gasoline engine also gets less, since its speed does not leave the optimal zone and often the movement occurs only due to electric traction. In general, with normal care, timely replacement of oil and filters, the internal combustion engine, and with a run of 300,000 km, is in full health. But whether this motor will survive another 100,000 without repair is already a question, but counting on the eternal life of shock absorbers, silent blocks, suspension stabilizer struts is naive. These parts of the Prius are subjected to the same stresses as on a Corolla similar in size and weight. Therefore, their service life is approximately equal. Finally, about the most exciting, the traction battery. This contraption is really tenacious, designed for the entire life of the machine, that is, 300 to 350,000 km, it is difficult to kill it, but still possible. Therefore, do not save on a comprehensive check of the copy you like in an authorized or verified service. Like all such batteries, the Prius battery does not tolerate overheating. This means that you need to carefully monitor the condition of the cooling fan and in no case carry out welding work in the immediate vicinity, say, during body repairs. Another piece of advice from seasoned Prius of Odoff, do not leave the car for a long time, two weeks or more, without movement. With an empty battery, the car will not move, and the internal combustion engine starts only in motion. There is only one way out in this situation, a tow truck and a trip to the dealer. The chassis is quite simple, McPherson struts in front, a torsion beam in the back. No systemic sores on the chassis were identified by the Prius of Uds. Scheduled replacements only. Shock absorbers serve an average of 60 to 80,000 km. At the same time, it is optimal to change the bushings and front stabilizer struts. Here again, everything is very simple. The function of transferring traction from the gasoline and electric motor to the wheels is assigned to the planetary gearbox, which also acts as a gearbox. It takes a lot of effort to kill him. Nevertheless, servicemen recommend changing the oil in this unit every 60,000 km. For the sake of better economy, the Prius has a gasoline engine running on the Atkinson cycle. In such an engine, the compression stroke is shorter than the power stroke. But you don't need to know this at all. 
because the scheduled maintenance of this unit is no different from caring for an ordinary motor. That is, we change the oil and filters every 10,000 km, in extreme cases, once every 15,000 km. The third generation Prius family turned out to be the most prolific, not only in terms of the amount of copies sold in the world, but also in terms of the number of modifications. In addition to the regular version, in 2009 the Japanese launched a rechargeable hybrid, ZW35, with a 21.5 ah traction battery. It takes an hour and a half to fully feed this battery from a 220V network. But then you can drive only on electric 23 km. Two years later, the Prius V station wagon appeared in the Noble Hybrid family with a standard power plant, but with a trunk increased by 50%. In the States, this car was offered in a 5-seater version, and in Japan and European countries, 7-seater cars were sold. 